Sheep, sheep, sheep. Hi guys, hi Bubbles, hi Walter, hi Dolly, hi Mama, hi Baby, hi Albi. Jenny's farm didn't start out with animals that were missing limbs. Mm -hmm. She just happened to come to her farm and she felt, well, prosthetic technology has helped me, it could certainly help them. I can't imagine not having an artificial leg because I lost my leg at 10 and I'm quite used to it. It's thanks to medical science that I'm able to live this normal life. And for these animals, I want no different for them. Hi, Felix. What goes on at Woodstock Farm Sanctuary on a daily basis, we're home to right now around 300 rescued farm animals. They've all come from bad places and they get the veterinary care, the health care that they need on a daily basis. Ah. Hi, Bess, just... <laughs> <laughs> She's feisty. Can you come help me with Felix? They're all actually in the front pasture. Little Felix came to us as a, as a baby lamb, and he had come from a big sheep farm, and overnight, some sort of predator had gotten in, and they found little Felix with um, his leg chewed off. And so I spoke to my prosthetist, the gentleman who makes my legs, Eric. Um, I don't know if many clinicians would have went out to the farm. I don't have any experience with fitting prosthetics on animals. Very few people in the country do. So I figured if I could take what knowledge that I do have and apply it to the animal, I could probably get them to utilize a prosthesis. And it wasn't until we got hooked up with SUNY New Paltz and their 3D printing lab that we were able to make something pretty cool and cutting edge for him. Seeing him walk on the leg was absolutely amazing. From my limited interactions with him, he isn't necessarily the most outgoing sheep in the world. He's actually very sheepish, but what he ended up doing was he started running away from us, which was amazing. We were just jumping for joy that he could actually get up and run, keep up with his flock. He looked like he was a very happy sheep. If we could do this more on other animals, we wouldn't have to, you know, put them down. Most of the world doesn't fully understand it. They think of them as just farmed animals, but we hope that that changes. And that's part of the magic of what we do here. They get pastures to roam in, access to the sun and to the grass. They live life the way they were intended to live. There's no greater joy.